Resource Guru lets you schedule different types of resources, not just people. The functionality between people and non-human resources is slightly different, and you'll notice a few changes between the forms when you're adding different types of resources. Let's have a look at adding a new person. Much of this form is self-explanatory, but there are a few things worth mentioning. You have the option to invite people to join your account, but you don't have to. If you do invite people, you can set their permissions using one of the presets or choose your own custom permissions. The dashboard slider will be greyed out because everyone you invite to your account will have access to their own dashboard by default, but you can fully customise someone's permissions for all other sections of the app. Further down the form, you'll see the time zone field. If you have people in multiple time zones, this is a great feature that lets you see exactly where everyone is right there on the schedule. Underneath the time zone field, you can edit the person's normal availability. If you don't edit this, it will just default to the default availability you have set up in your account. If you need to change the default account availability, you can do that over in your settings. Here, you'll be able to specify whether someone is bookable or not. So, if you're adding a manager or an administrator, or anyone who doesn't need to be scheduled, untick the box and they won't be shown on the schedule or in the reports. Finally, you'll see your custom fields if you've created any, and there's no limit to the number of options you can label someone with.